and there it is. About four days after it got ordered, here it is. Now I have no clue what's inside. I have a feeling it's just the frame without any rubber on it or without any um, gears. So let's open it up and see. Yep, that's right. It's time for maintenance on this thing and heavy duty maintenance at that because I was riding around Thanksgiving time crossing over 1,000 miles when lo and behold, another spoke broke. I didn't know that I had a broken one, but now I have three and uh, that has become a critical issue. No longer can ride it. However, <laughs> Shrin came through. Let me show you what they sent me. said I see a frame uh, it has spokes I see an axle and no gear that's fine if we're if you remember at my 25 mile uh, review I thought this tire would go a thousand miles and I still have a little bit of tread left as you can see in the very center so i'll bet it's good for another thousand maybe two probably a three thousand mile tire pretty good for 20 what inches what i want to do today is take this front one off because it's almost new and put it on the back and swap front to back and that way there i'll get all that many more miles out of it and uh i'm gonna take this uh wheel and see if I can get some spokes for it and fix it. If it's not too out of round and it's salvageable, that would be great. Okay, so uh, you saw me work on this in the, in the previous video, so I'm not gonna show you how to take it off or the front wheel. Just to quickly explain something before I take this wheel off, I got the uh, brakes off. Now, my brakes were continuously rubbing and uh, it makes sense now. You can see as I hold a wrench right here it doesn't show that it is out of round at least not much but there is a lot of wobble to it so uh, that's what I was feeling right there so if I stop it right there and have a look oh yeah that is a broken Right there, it snapped one of them. I know there's more, there's, there's the other one. It's either snapped or very loose. Then there's the other snapped one. So I have, and it actually has a piece of the wire still stuck in there when i get it out we'll see that so i think this wheel is definitely salvageable because the hub is actually in the center which means that uh the grease i put in there is coming out look at that anyway which means that the the i think the wheel is still in good shape hopefully uh when the new spokes are put on uh it will pull the wheel back if not then i will have to have it straightened at a shop because that's something I can't do. So on with pulling this wheel. I'm just going to show you when it when it is off because I've never taken off the uh, gear set on a bike before, and I may need a special tool for that. So let's get this off real quick. Wow, that is some bead. I don't remember uh, bicycles being so heavily beaded. This one is uh, very strong. And uh, this rim is very deep. 
So that's a pretty secure tire. Amazing. One other uh, thing of interest is uh, I still have a lot of uh, tread left on these brakes on the back. And this was the side that was actually rubbing the whole time. And uh, I knew it was rubbing, but it didn't bother me. And uh, as long as it didn't wear the brake pad out, which you can see, I still got plenty left. 1,000 miles. Back in the day, you used to be able to just get one side off like I have done here. And, uh, and then the other side was easily peeled off. But this thing is so tight. I gotta use the tools to get it all the way the rest of the way off. Jeez. I uh, did not uh, do anything to these um, bearings in uh, the first 500 mile, but I've got a spot here that feels really rough, like I'm concerned about these bearings. I don't know why it, it's doing that. It's right there. Uh, it's concerning. I'm going to have to open this up now. And I was going to grease them anyway, but I'm hoping I don't have any damaged race in there. We'll see. Okay, here is the front bearing. And uh, in my estimation, it, uh, it looks dry, but it has just a very slight film on it. And uh, I think that after a thousand miles, it has done very, very well. And it's time for some new grease. It doesn't take much on these things, but uh, because they're not uh, sealed and anything you put in in overabundance, the race looks really good. Let's see if I clean that. It has a little line. You can see where the balls were riding. And uh, I don't see any chunks, so that looks good. And now for the inner bearing, if I can get it out. It looks like it has a little bit more. See now that, uh, that looks pretty good. keep these two separated. Won't need to replace these. They look like they're in great shape. And this one had more grease on it than the other one did. Actually just moving this grease around in here probably helps tremendously. So let's look at that inner race. Nice and clean. After a thousand miles, that's great. You can tell where the balls are riding. And as for the outer race, perfect. Oh, we got a little divot right there. That's not good. Not sure if you can see that on camera. That's where you start to have problems, but if I feel it with my finger, my fingernail, yeah, it, it is, it is a chunk. So I need to consider getting a new one of these. I'll ask the manufacturer for that part. Um, that's surprising. The other one looks so well. The other inner looks so well. So if I put this back together again, it would just eventually start getting a, a deeper and deeper hole right here. That looks like a manufactured flaw. That is really weird. Okay, I got the back tire on the front and I'm about to grease it and realized I didn't have any, ran down to get some. And you know, there's a whole 
bunch of different greases out there and on a bicycle it really doesn't matter that much although these are not sealed bearings and so then i thought uh probably a water resistant marine grease might work really well for a bicycle Okay, here is another one of my humble opinions freely offered today. This is the brand new axle that I got and it was really tight. And when I loosened it up, I said, may as well just check the inside. And that is all the grease that it has. So in my opinion, it's not enough and I'm gonna grease it up and then put it back together and just recommend always look at something before you put it on that you've never seen the inside of before even if it's new i found the very same issue on my camper that i had uh it didn't have much grease in it either but you know that's a different story one other quick thought uh this new wheel did not come with the inner uh protector for the um rim not for the rim but for the inner tube so good thing i saw that Otherwise, I'd have just put it together, and that would not have been a good situation. Yet another thought, as I was pulling it out, it had glue right here next to the valve stem. So I think it's probably a good idea to put something on there to tack it down, but I wouldn't know what I would use that wouldn't either eat up the rubber or the uh, metal alloy. So I'm just going to let it go. All right, if you're working on your own bike, and you're going to pull this, this hub off, this uh, cassette off, uh, this thing goes in one direction, so it makes it easy to go on and it's just screwed down But it's very tight and it requires a specific tool to reach the inside threads So that you can pull it off like that All right It's a 24 mil or no, it's not It's a uh, one inch nut and it was very tight but now that it's finger tight it'll go right off and the new one will come right on i think it just busted loose and there it is that's all there is to it wow okay now this particular one has a shield so i'm going to clean that up and put that on and uh, I will look at that inner bearing, which I never got to because I never had this. I actually borrowed this tool. As you can see, it is ribbed on the outside. All right, I just wiped this down and it goes right on there. And then the gear pack. This thing's almost as heavy as the wheel. <laughs> Here we go. It's all new. I was worried about cross-threading it, believe it or not. It's on. I don't know how many pounds it takes, but I'm not going to put that much on because it goes in the direction of pedal. Anyway, so we're ready to reassemble. Da, da, da. Another job well done by the Mighty Mouse. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day. Here it is, folks. I am mobile once again with a 1,005 miles on it. And that's where the three spokes broke. 
I think I'll get another thousand miles out of this wheel. Maybe more. We'll see. Oh, it feels so good to be back on the road again.